on today's episode of the news. Hasbro revealed all the wonderful new figures and packaging is different. If you haven't been on social media, you're in for a real treat. We'll check out some pops, $5 retros, and I got some new lighting. Ooh, all this and more coming up. Welcome to my television. Last night, as my other video, this one went up. I was talking vintage. All the Black Series just hit the street. And wow, the first thing I saw was literally at five minutes to midnight was a very grainy picture of Zeb. Have a look at this. There it is. Quick, chuck it off the screen. Um, and then I'm like, oh, they're getting released. They're, they're, they've leaked already. So in the seven hours that I slept, wake up, bam, there they all are. And what a collection. Wow. If you are an avid viewer of my channel, you have probably seen me talk about the packaging being changed. And if I've got that footage, I'll stick it in here. The intel I got, which is to remain anonymous from where I got it from, has said, recently I've said there's some rumors of some figures coming out. One in particular is an Ewok. It is Tebow is supposed to be the first Ewok they've ever made in the Black Series. The box is being changed. The box is now all blue. Now when I first thought of this, I thought of this image from The Simpsons with little Ralphie Wiggum, but they're all vintage collection looking things, so <laughs> leave it at that. The box art is going to be blue and the image of the person who's featured is going to take up the whole side, much like Marvel does. So this is an interesting development. I don't know what number they're going to get to before they decide we're going to change everything completely. It is going to be a later wave this year, like somewhere in October or December, but that's what's happening. The boxes are no longer being red. They're going to be blue. I don't know if the, this part of it's going to be blue or this part's going to be blue or the backing card in there is going to be blue. It's blue in a way. That's what it's changing to. If not, that was a very awkward silence, but yes, I said it would be blue. The, the packaging would be blue. Um, my intel was only Empire Strikes Back because Empire Strikes Back is blue. So what I want to start off with is the Zeb and the collection of Rebels. Now you'll see this lovely picture of Zeb, nice, crispy, clean. So I'll try and show you a packaging shot and then I'll try and show a loose shot if I can. If not, there's just packaging shots because this is the inbox collector's dream all these lovely, lovely boxes. They're just beautiful. This is now going to be called Phase 4. As you know, Phase 1 was the black and orange. Phase 2 was the black and blues. Phase 3 is the red and black things that we are familiar with now. Phase 4 will be into this color scheme that we can see. And Rebels. Purple. Everything Rebels is purple. And we'll run through them all, as we saw, Zeb that was supposed to be rumored to be D5. We're not quite sure, but we'll get back to a numbering system after I run through these. Ezra Bridger, Kanan Jarrus, Hera Sandula, Sabine Wren, Ahsoka Tano. Together they make a lovely big image where it's across the side. You'll want to collect them all to get that sort of pictured landscape. They're probably doing that on purpose, so you will want to get them all. You may already have one like me, you may have three, you may be missing one or two. This way it makes you just collect a whole lot from scratch. Uh, a couple of images, thanks to Dorkside.com, showed a cross comparison of a couple of the characters. I know Ahsoka's in there and also Sabine Wren. If there's any more, I'll, I'll include them as well. It does say they are digitally updated with the paints. They, they look more modern and they've gone away from the cartoony style, even though they didn't really have it. I, I, I didn't really have a problem with how they looked originally, but if they're going to improve them, they're going to improve them and put them in a brand new box. Now we'll talk about the numbering. Um, there's also the images of the back of the, the boxes. First up is Zeb. Now look at the size of Zeb box. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And it's got right down the bottom, 0, 1. Like I said, I thought this would be D5. If this is where they're starting from scratch, he will be number 1. We're not quite sure how it's going to work. We need more information from Hasbro. Number two is Chopper. Number three is Ezra. They don't have a pick for number four, but it's more likely Kanan. Number five is Hera Sandula, and number six is Sabine, and there's no picture for Ahsoka, which would be number seven. 
So like I said, Rebels is purple. And that's the line, August the 1st, they will be out. This whole new phase will begin probably when that first lot of those come out. Available for pre-order, every everywhere. You check the internet, they're everywhere. And coming out in America's fall, as they say. We'll move on now to the Clone Trooper. Now the Clone Trooper you can see in a yellow style of box. This one, Clone Wars, yellow. We have rumoured uh, Cad Bane, so he may join up and there'll be a big collection of, say, eight figures or nine figures, whatever it will be. So those wondering, are we going to get any Clone Wars stuff, will probably end up in that lineup at some stage. From Return of the Jedi, Admiral Akbar and Tebow. There's their boxes together, individually, looking fantastic. Admiral Akbar uh, just come out really, really nice. We appreciate the design. I know we've seen these figures before, and he's Tebow as well. Remember, they were shown loose to us in glam shots from Hasbro before, but in the packaging, wow, they just pop with that color and design. Next up, we move to the Mandalorian. And these look like a rustic kind of orange design. And they've included in the Mandalorian the Imperial Stormtrooper, which is an interesting one because the rumor was that it was a Rogue One Stormtrooper we're getting. It's got here, it's Imperial Stormtrooper Mandalorian. So we did see Stormtroopers in the Mandalorian, some of them remnants, some of them nice and minty fresh. This is the minty fresh one, a nice in a Mandalorian box. I don't complain. That looks fantastic. I hope you enjoy collecting orange boxes. Next up, the blue boxes, what I talked about, Vader and Luke Snowspeeder. Now, Luke Snowspeeder is the exact same figure as we're getting in the 40th anniversary. If you want to buy him on the nice 40th anniversary card back, you can. But if you want to buy him in this nice brand spanking new blue box, you most certainly can do that as well. Empire Strikes Back is represented by blue. Like I said, this is phase four, starting August 1st, or any time roughly after that date. Because as you know, release dates for product is sometimes, wow, it's so early or wow, it's so late. It depends where you live in the world and where the distribution hits you. So, a couple of other points I want to talk about. The box shape. Now, a lot of people have, let me bring back, we know in the pictures that we've seen, a lot of the images have it turned so you can see the side of the box. You can see the side of the box, number 42, and on them, they're a little bit fatter. I think they're just a squish bigger, just, just a tiny bit, just to get that artwork in there and make it look really nice. However, when you see a shot of the front like this, you can still see the wedge, which means the box ain't square. No, 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 no. And then people say, oh, no, it's just the design. If you notice, I'll put up a picture of the Luke again, and you can notice right down the side, I'll point to the arrow there, you can see that's a straight line. On the other side, you can see the side. So it's a wedge. It's The box ain't square. That's what I'm trying to say. So this little bit here in the photograph, you can see it's a direct straight line. That means this side is straight, but you can still see the wedge. So the box is not turned like that. The box is straight, but it has a, a wedge, a cutoff. It's, it's angular. <laughs> That's my take on what I saw anyway. And obviously from box sizes, you've seen that the Zeb is a larger box compared to all the others. That first picture that they showed where they're showing the side, it's just hiding the fact that the others are a little bit smaller. And Zeb at the front is this huge action figure. Also, there was no new, A New Hope or Star Wars figures announced. What font color would they be? I mean, like, well, they've taken green, blue, the yellow, the purple, a red. It should be yellow, but it's already used up for the Clone Wars stuff. Hmm. Leave your thoughts down below. Anyway, moving on to the 40th anniversary, Empire Strikes Back, Amazon exclusive Harney and Carbonite. It's a mouthful to say, I know. Um, there's already a review on YouTube of this figure. Someone's already got it off Amazon. Don't know how it was shipped out so quickly, but here's a little bit of that. Han Solo coming out as a single release like this but it actually looks pretty okay I mean as odd as it may seem and it's a lot bigger than I was anticipating I don't know why I was anticipating something smaller but it looks good on the back side we just get the rest of the wave of the uh, 40th anniversary figures so here we have our Han Solo and Carbonite and 
there's the size in my hand it is made of plastic and it's hollow so in case you guys are curious but it is covered on the back side so it's not like completely hollow where you see the insides of it but I definitely feel it's hollow there's two holes on the back and then these these little hooks on the end will hook on the end of the carbonized um, Han Solo so and that's how that looks and I guess the white background works well with this transparent piece because it's kind of hard to see it looks compelling as good as this full link down below Funko Pops now as you know a couple days ago uh, GameStop had an exclusive lineup of four new pops and here is the image on the screen featuring the Shadow Stormtrooper, the Hooded Yoda, Darth Revan and the Darth Malak. Now, as you know, this guy, pretty damn popular and Funko probably knows it and they decided everyone's chasing this figure, we're going to make him into pop form. Awesome, awesome stuff. The other interesting one is Malik. I mean, Revan, yes, Revan's been hot to trot. You know, hide all my gaming grades behind. Yeah, that figure there. I put that image on Instagram. You guys loved it. It's a great figure. Yeah, the Darth Malak. Very interesting character. Only time we ever saw it in the action figure form, I believe, was 30th anniversary. And it's not the greatest looking figure. I mean, it's cool card back and all that because 30th anniversary with the coin. Beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, the figure, yeah. But now, in a pop form, unreal. The guy with the big neck that they'll cover here. Very cool to see. The interesting thing about the pops is you guys in the US are due to see them on July 20. Woo! Here in Australia, June 21st. Hooray! We're actually a month ahead of you. <laughs> so if you want to be a Funko Pop collector, move to Australia. Easiest place in the world to collect pops. Now that all these pre-orders from these new figures are out, Walmart has put five dollars. Oh, sorry, darling. Five dollars on all the retros at Walmart. So they send them to you, damaged, broken, bent up, screwed up, messed up, whatever. In a Walmart, I'm just talking about Walmart in the U.S. Around the world, different story. Minty fresh over here in this country. No worries there. Um, now they put them on the pegs, restock them at $5. $5! So there's a few images floating around the internet with $5. Unreal. Get yourself some retro collection figures, my friends. Last but not least, Phase 3. We're going out with a bang. The red and black boxes. It's time to say goodbye. And I picked a couple of my subscribers who sent me pictures of their wonderful, wonderful Black Series collections. First up, Artis. You have a humongous name. Zach Teofrapia. <laughs> He's missing four figures. Check this picture out. Amazing stuff. I'm actually surprised how you guys can take a photo with so many action figures in the picture. I'm blown away that you can fit them all in. You've got to have the space. You've got to be out high enough. The other one, thank you for that picture also. Bradley Collection. Missing three figures. And I believe they are 69, 104, and 107. Here's a couple of numbers you may be familiar with. Ooh. I think uh, 104, 107, 107 should be Dooku, 104 should be Bly. I've got them somewhere around here. Where is them? <laughs> Back here, look. Dooku, yes, 107. Lovely, lovely. A few people are starting to get them shipped out to them. And also Bly. Lovely, lovely. Look at that. 104. Correct. Yes, I don't have the painted chim strap one. If you're wondering, a little bit too much light on there. Got the new lighting today. Oh, awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much for watching today. As you know, my sponsor is Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles, who I will be putting in my pre-orders for the Carbonized stuff. I'm really looking forward to the Carbonized stuff, the Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper, as well as, I think, later on down the track at the end of the year will be Darth Vader. So, excellent. Keep an eye out for those on his page. Use the code UMTV follower at checkout so he knows I sent you there.
awesome stuff. I got a bit of merch, chuck up my shirts. All my shirts are available in my Redbubble store. Buying from the Redbubble store helps out the channel, so thank you very much. If you wanna follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at usualmike30 or on Instagram at usualmiketelevision. If you wanna send some fan mail, it's up here at PO Box 957, Lismore, New South Wales, 248 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. Ooh. Tap that little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best.